If you have a hosting plan or hostinger, you want to take advantage of it. You want to fit more websites into the hosting plan that you are already paying. So you don't want to buy a hosting plan for each one of these sites. And I'm going to show you how to take advantage of it right now. What's up, everyone? I'm going to show you how to fit several websites in one hosting plan. Now, if you have a domain on Hostinger, it's going to be a breeze. There's no setup process because you don't need to change the DNS. But if you have a domain somewhere else, but you want to use your hosting in Hostinger, this guide is for you. OK, so before I show you how to do this, let me show you the affordable hosting plans that they have available and how to add the coupon code that I have for you. So go over to the link in the description, go to hosting, web hosting, and in web hosting, we're going to find their shared hosting plans. In this case, let me show you the business plan so we can apply that coupon code. So this is a $3.99 a month plan, but it's going to drop more with the coupon. Now, once you're here, Hostinger is going to ask you how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 48 months. You lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you're good to go for 48 months. Now, this is the total right now, but if you add my coupon code, SAS Master, and apply it, the price is going to drop to $172. So use that coupon code. So back to our Hostinger panel, H panel. We're going to go into websites and we're going to add a website. So let's go ahead and click on add a new website and you have several options here. I'm going to use WordPress for this. Let's select the plan. Remember, you have to have a plan that can fit more websites inside of it. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to use my business web hosting that can fit up to 100 or 300, I think, but several plans. Okay. So I'll just let me go through this information really quickly and we're going to go to the next step. OK, so I just went through several steps, but the important one is right here, the domain name. So in this case, I'm going to use one of my domains that I have somewhere else, and I'm going to use a subdomain to connect it here on this hosting plan. So we have to give it a few seconds. So it verifies that it's an existing domain and it's going to we're going to select this one. Register to confirm ownership. OK, let's hit next. Let's confirm because it's telling me that I need to be aware that I need to point it to Hostinger so it actually works. So let's give it a few seconds for this website to be built and we're going to go to the next step. There we go. The website has been built. You can see that I'm on the subdomain test.cafacio.com. I can go ahead and preview the site, but it's not going to work because I need to connect the domain here. Now, how am I going to do that? Well, go to hosting, go to plan details. And we're going to need this IP address. So let's go ahead and copy this IP address and we're going to create a record. Now, depending on where you have your domain, it's going to be the same steps. In the DNS, we're going to add that record. Okay. So I'm going to say new and it's going to be here. Let me see if that's what I've created. Go to the dashboard. Oh, it's test. All right. Test. You can see right here test if ACO.com. Right. And I'm going to remove proxies so it propagates quicker to show you these steps. Oh, the IP address, add it there, save it. And here we go. So let's go back into our hosting or plan. It might take a few seconds, a few minutes to get propagated. Let me go ahead and refresh this. Let's test it out to see if it's ready. And here we go. The website is now visible with a domain that I have somewhere else, but I'm taking advantage of my hosting plan. But that's how easy it is to connect your domains to your hosting plan. So you can add several websites in one hosting plan. So if you want to do that, just follow these steps and you'll be good to go. And that's a wrap for this video.